The Used were one of those bands back in the late 90s and early 2000s that kind of pioneered the post-hardcore sound that we know today and the whole kind of screamo genre in a lot of ways where they blended the emo music of the, the early 90s with the aggressive hardcore music that was coming out at that time that was branching out in a lot of different directions and they were kind of one of the original bands during that that time so they've been around for quite some time and this is actually the seventh full-length album that we get from the band called the canyon now this album is a a vastly different sound from the band that we that we may be used to this isn't the same band that's been making songs like the taste of ink or the bird and the worm they definitely evolved into something else and i would say something better um it's not going to appeal to everybody it doesn't particularly appeal to me, but when talking about this album, they really kind of poured their heart into this, and I think they've done something that, while again, it may not be my cup of tea, I commend them for what they have absolutely done on this album. Everything on this album feels kind of slowed down and stretched out. The theatrics and the dramatics of the previous albums have kind of been stripped away. It feels more like a recorded live album in a lot of ways. And For that, the production of it is a little bit weird. The drums feel like they're front and center while the vocals kind of feel off in the distance a little bit. It, it, it kind of lends to that style and that feel, that a kind of free-flowing style. Uh, and it, it makes for an interesting sound overall all there's uh, a lot of it is more slowed down and drawn out like i said it, it's almost like a post-rock album at times there's a lot of just weird ambient moments uh, a lot of good acoustic guitars sometimes just white noise on these tracks and it's just it's so vastly different from anything that they have previously attempted and it, it's definitely an, i would say a new chapter for the band i mean they they experimented a lot on this album, and I think they tried to push as much as possible. The album in total clocks in at an hour and 18 minutes, over 17 tracks. And it's one of the things that I don't particularly enjoy about the album is the fact that it feels drawn out too much. It drags on a little bit. There's a lot of songs that feel like they could have been cut down. Uh, they didn't need to be as long. And by the time the album's over, it kind of feels like it overstayed its welcome. However, while you're listening to it, you are definitely captivated. You are definitely in the moment with the band. You kind of understand what they were going for on here. And it feels uh, emotionally honest for the band. I mean, this is probably, they, they've always been, like I said, uh, they, they came up from the, the influence of emo and, and, things like that and that that's always been a, a genre that's been honest with your feelings uh, but it, it really kind of hits home here on this album i i think that this is probably the most uh, aggressively honest album that they've done there's definitely some tracks on here that speed things up a little bit that do feel like the uh, classic use that we're used to but even then on there it, it definitely feels like there's a, a lot that they kind of took away there there's uh but not necessarily negatively um it just feels like they've boiled everything down to its core and honestly this album reminds me a lot of lincoln park's minutes to midnight in that sense that they kind of went from uh overproduction and aggressiveness and kind of toned toned it down a lot on here so i i think that this it's commendable that they've done that it's commendable that they've been experimenting with this. It's nice to see that they didn't really worry about what they sounded like to fans or that they were trying to fit into any kind of uh, sound. You know, this, this is, it's not like they went into this and said, you know, we need to sound like The Use. This, uh, not that it sounds like a different band, it just sounds like the band is doing the sound that they want, that they're they're trying to push themselves. And like I said, it, it's definitely nice to, to see that because you can't really please everybody. You kind of have to start at some point making music for yourself and there's people that'll gravitate to it and there's people that are going to, you know, obviously not like it as much. Uh, I mean, it's definitely worth checking out whether you're a fan of the used or not. If you've never really even listened to them, I, I think it's a good uh, it's not a good representation of the band themselves with everything else that they've done uh, has been, they said, just dramatically different. But it's it's kind of a good point, I think, uh, and, and a solid album from the 
from the band overall. Um, and even like I said, like I, I wasn't necessarily super into the, I, I feel like it could have been better if they had cut some of these tracks short, if the album itself had been maybe a little bit shorter, or even split up in, in some sort of way. I, I still recommend it. I still think it's worth listening to because there's so much there that there may be things that you gravitate to that I, I wasn't particularly interested in. Um, you know, and I, I do still hold that kind of prejudice of, of what I expect the use to sound like. And that's kind of my own fault. Um, you know, that's, that's my issue, not, not an issue with the album itself. So I, I really think that they've done something with this album and pushed themselves and, and driven themselves. And that's always good to hear and to see. And obviously that's not always going to work. You know, and not every song is going to hit, not every song or, or stylistic change is really going to work for every band. But I think this does for for the use. I, I they feel comfortable. They feel like they're doing something that they that they want to do, that they're trying to do. And I, I mean, I, again, I, I really, I really think it's worth listening to it and at least giving this album a chance. Thank you so much for watching the review of the used album, The Canyon. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I want to hear from you. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more.